I slowly have forgotten to remember about you, babe. If this is what all lovers do, I'll find another way. The way I fell in love with you is far from me today. I'd love to fall right back into the way we used to play. Hey guys, welcome back to a whole house clean with me, which is so crazy. That feels really weird to say because it's been a long time since I've shared a cleaning video on my channel, but it was needed today. I was needing some cleaning therapy, and it does feel like therapy to me sometimes. My house will get so overwhelming and just feel like a dumpster fire because my life feels like a dumpster fire and is so overwhelming, and my home is absolutely a representation of where I'm at mentally, emotionally, physically, and then I'll take a day like this where I just want to feel some level of control over it, so I will do the things that I am in control of, like cleaning it all up, and while I work on that, I kind of work through things in my mind, or at least try to feel like I'm working through things in my mind, so I'm going to get started by washing some towels and cleaning rags that I needed to and then making my bed and I have been seeing a lot of comments lately asking about my bed updates about my mattress in particular I have a lol mattress protector and a lol lux hybrid mattress and I love them so much the mattress protector is not just all plastic and zipping over the mattress it's quilted and comfortable so it doesn't compromise the mattress or sleep experience at all and then my mattress itself is the perfect amount of firmness and it's really deep, which I like. I've had the LOL Original Memory Foam. That was a great mattress as well. I upgraded to the LOL Lux Hybrid, I think, a year ago and they're just phenomenal. I do also have both the lol down pillows and memory foam pillows and having the right pillow is honestly just as important as having the right mattress which i didn't know until i had the right pillows but i think i get a lot of comments about it this time of year in particular because i have done a lot of bedroom makeovers for friends and family and myself here on my youtube channel and i always introduce a lol mattress into the space because i truly love them and recommend them to all of my friends and family in real life and so that's what I have to share in those bedroom makeovers but those videos kind of get fresh eyes or new eyes on them around this time every year they start to pick up in views and new viewers but then also returning viewers will revisit those videos and ask for updates I think because it's tax season and so a lot of people are getting tax refunds this time of year and they wait for their tax refunds to make larger purchases like furniture appliances and mattresses and they want to feel like they're making a sound purchase and I can absolutely say if you are looking into a low mattress spending your money on that is money very well spent I had no idea how important the right mattress was for your sleep but over four years ago now I was involved in a really bad car accident where I had a lot of neck and back injuries that are have left me managing chronic pain for the rest of my life but in that immediate aftermath I could not get comfortable enough to fall asleep or stay asleep which was definitely exacerbating those injuries and really impacting my treatment plan and making it essentially not work like there was no improvement and so my physical therapist is actually the one who recommended that I should get a high quality memory foam mattress and specifically recommended that I should get a lull mattress so I did on his recommendation and it changed my life definitely changed my sleep for the better and so now I pass along that recommendation to anyone who asks or anyone who will listen including you guys so if you are looking into buying yourself a new mattress, upgrading your mattress, and you've been considering lol, absolutely try them out. They have a great warranty. I think it's like a 365 night sleep trial where within a year you could return your mattress for a full refund. No questions asked for any reason if you end up not liking it. So that lends a lot of peace of mind. I do also have a discount code there's a link in all of the information down in my description box so you can save some extra money on top of that 
and that is not because this video is sponsored. It's not sponsored. I am just part of their affiliate program because I love them and recommend them so much. And so that's a code that I will always have and a link that I would always have and you could always use. But anyway, I just wanted to let you know it's there in case you need it. I'll leave that and everything else that you see in today's video. I'll try my best to link absolutely everything down in the description box. But anyway, let me stop rambling about my bed. I think that I am doing that just to distract myself from the true purpose of this video or what I wanted to share in today's video. Not just cleaning motivation or feeling like you're cleaning with a friend or relating to how absolutely chaotic our homes and lives can be sometimes, but maybe even commiserating on that chaos. I was just wanting to let you know that if you are feeling overwhelmed or defeated by life recently and you feel like that's spilling over not just into your home but just every aspect of yourself into your mental health, your emotional health, physical health, the way that your home works and your routines function, I just wanted to let you know that you are not alone in that. Life is is and can be so overwhelming and it's something that unfortunately not enough people talk about online. I know that I often get caught up in a comparison game where I watch YouTube videos or Instagram or TikTok or any social media platform and I forget that it is curated content just like anybody could forget and I think that I've got the whole picture and I know what these people's lives are like and it just seems so effortless like how can you live so effortlessly so stress-free so peaceful so secure there must be something wrong with me because all of these other people are living that way and I have never been able to figure out how to live that way and then I have to remind myself, and so I'm reminding you as well, that it is curated content, and you don't have the whole picture, and nobody's life is perfect, especially in the current climate, and you cannot compare yourself to what you see online, because a lot of it is maybe not necessarily fake, but it's only half of the story if it's even half of the story. It's there to motivate you or inspire you or give you an escape and not necessarily always there to show reality in its full truest form. So that's what I wanted to do today is just share reality and some solidarity and relate to you guys because I know if I am needing it then there's at least one person out there who also needs it and it's always so much better to feel like you're in the foxhole with someone that you've got someone on your side and not that you're fighting on your own if that makes any sense and life lately at least for me has definitely felt like a fight and when I say lately I mean probably for the last three years straight on every front emotionally it has been so tough being a parent is tough and it, it's hard and uh, especially when you're trying to break cycles and how isolating that can feel and how it almost feels like you're destined to live your life alone and it's just because when you start cutting out all of the toxic and all of the unhealthy aspects you can often be left with nothing else and so of course you only want to model healthy relationships for your children and uh but then that often comes at a cost to you because if everything in your life prior was toxic and unhealthy and you have to cut all of that out, then what are you left with? And then you can't model for your children that they should be in life alone. So then you take on this responsibility, and it can be scary, of having to find a support system and a social life that is healthy and not knowing how to do that, what it looks like, thinking you might have found that, and then actually it's just more of the same. And it doesn't make you feel good and so then having to make tough decisions again and constantly feeling like you're starting over and you're trying again 
And it's it's definitely worth it for them to have the childhood that I wish that I could have had and for them to be the adults that I wish that I could have been. But it does come at great cost maybe, but I think more uh, great pressure on your end. So emotionally, there's been things that have just been so tough trying to navigate and wanting to feel like I'm making the right decisions and I'm doing the best that I can and I'm doing the best for my kids and not actually knowing if it's the best or if it's a mistake until it's too late. Like you won't know that you've really messed it up until you've really messed it up and then there's no going back and that makes me so scared because I I don't want to mess up my kids. But then on top of that, also feeling like There's a lot going on for me that I don't necessarily get to prioritize or handle the way that I would want to. And then uh, added to that, like inflation, the current economy, politics, cost of living, financial strain. I know a lot of you guys know that there's been a lot of things going on in my house the past few years because you have been able to see it or at least see a piece of it here online. But when you start recounting it and thinking back and then also adding in some things that I just don't share, like our car has needed over $10,000 in repairs over the past probably two years now, I would say. And Derek and I are debt-free. The only debt we have is our mortgage and we worked really hard to get to that place and to try to maintain it and it's starting to feel like it's impossible to maintain with all of these things that keep popping up and the car being one of them every time we turn around it's something and so we finally started feeling like we had gotten it all straight we fixed everything and then two weeks ago our transmission started acting up and now we're either going to have to replace the transmission or buy a new vehicle. And at what point do you just cut the loss and get a new vehicle? But we are debt free. So does that, what does that look like for us? Are we going to go into debt with a car loan? Are we going to clear out the rest of our savings to buy a car outright? Uh, Just how do you make those decisions? How do you balance that? And then on top of it, all of the things that have been so financially stressful because of home ownership. Like our HVAC system has needed thousands of dollars in repairs every season change for the past three years. And then finally, it looks like Band-Aid fixes aren't going to work anymore. And we are going to need to completely replace the entire HVAC system, which is costly. And having to make those kinds of decisions or cash flow that at the same time as the car issue that we were just talking about and coming out of a year and a half of major home renovations that cost us around $40,000 out of pocket. We had, you guys saw a lot of that. We had a plumbing leak two Decembers ago and to repair the plumbing issue in general was thousands and thousands of dollars. And then our homeowner's insurance is an absolute joke, covered almost nothing. And the contractor that we hired was an absolute joke. So many things went wrong. Uh, We had to replace all of our lower and upper cabinets, our countertops, all the flooring within our entire house, and the amount of money that it cost us. And we weren't anticipating anticipating that like we thought that at least a large majority of it would be covered by our insurance and that is laughable now I can't believe I was that naive it wasn't and the work isn't even satisfactory like I'm gonna do a house projects video I think this month but we absolutely love our flooring it's from a phenomenal company it's actually waterproof 100% which gives a lot of peace of mind that even if there's a leak, we won't have to replace all of our floors like we did this recent time. We love the flooring that we chose, but the contractor that installed it did a terrible, terrible job. It's LVP flooring, which kind of clicks together, and there's a lot of boards that they didn't click together. So there's a lot of gaps that started showing themselves literally within one week of the flooring being finished and they've just gotten worse and worse and worse so I'm going to try to repair those in a video coming up but I just haven't had the time or resources or the confidence to repair it up until now Uh, but there's 
just things like that just happened. They also installed our cabinets wrong the first time. There was a lot of damage done to them and they were brand new. It was just crazy. A lot of things that are out of our control and that cost us money that was out of our control. And I'm not sharing that to air out all of my financial woes on the internet, but really just to tell you that if you feel like life is just siphoning money out of your bank account against your will or siphoning happiness and laughter out of your life with against your will or like parenting is harder than you thought it would be having a social life is harder than you thought it would be just living is harder than it should be right and and not even feeling like you're living feeling I feel like I'm barely surviving I feel feel like I'm in fight or flight all the time and I'm just trying to get through and that is such a defeating way to live life so if you are also feeling that way and feeling defeated I want you to know that you are not alone And the things you see online are not always an accurate, 100% truthful representation of what is going on. And really nobody owes you that anyway, or me. Nobody owes me to share every single aspect of their personal life. But when anything is withheld, then it, it can be hard to remember that, that it's not always real. So I wanted to give you a little dose of reality here and let you know that you're not alone. I'm in the foxhole with you. If you feel like you're just fighting and surviving, so do I, and we will get through it. This can't last forever, right? It's not going to last forever. But anyway, here's a full circle moment. I'm ending this video the same way I started with these makeup remover wipes, but Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed, that this brought you some kind of peace or just made you feel a little bit better, at least like you're not alone. Thank you so much for choosing to hang out with me today and listen to all of this, and I'll see you all in the next one.